battery test is, is where things get really interesting as well, in my opinion. We put these to a test, a simulated dive test in a dive chamber. Quite static tests, so not the perfect world, but, but it gives us a really good image of how long can you actually dive with these. And I'm just gonna start with the, with the T1, actually. In dive mode uh, in the chamber, it did 139 hours. That's way more than, than what Garmin is promising us. For the Garmin uh, MK Train, we tested the 51 millimeter, we tested the 43 millimeter. So this one lasted 175 hours in the dive chamber. That's way above what Garmin promised the dive computer would do in dive mode. The 43 millimeter got a 54 hours, so also way more than what Garmin was promising us. Garmin G2, that's this little fellow right here, gave us 39 hours in dive mode in the chamber. They promised 27, so that's way above as well. Let's move on to the Suntra Ocean because that's an interesting one as well. It did 51 hours in dive mode, 11 more than what Suntra is promising us. For the Garmin Phoenix 8, we have the mid-size, so, so this is the one that's the 47 millimeter. Um, it stayed in dive mode for 45 hours. Apple Watch Ultra, on the other hand, if you ever tried using an Apple Watch, you know it needs to be charged often. In the chamber, it lasted 12 hours. 